Vision is our most important sense. Seeing is enjoying. Seeing is living. Perceiving our environment with maximum clarity. This is what we demand from our eyes on a daily basis. However, about 40% of the population need contact lenses or glasses to enable them to see their environment as clearly as possible. I certainly don't like wearing my glasses as much as my sneakers. I am very short-sighted. My prescription is minus 6.5 diopters, and that is definitely a handicap in my everyday life. When I wake up in the morning, I can't see the clock. The first thing I reach for is my glasses on the bedside table. Glasses are a real nuisance for sports. Contact lenses aren't the optimum solution either. I want to get rid of my glasses once and for all. That's why I've now made an appointment with my eye doctor. The quality of our vision depends not only on the refractive power of the eyeball, but also on the cornea and lens. Ideally, the rays of light entering the eyes should combine on the macula of the retina to form a sharp image of the viewed object. In farsightedness, the eyeball is too short. The optical focal point is located behind the retina. Short-sightedness means that the eyeball is too long, the bundled rays are not projected onto the retina, but in front of it. An irregular curvature of the cornea, a condition known as astigmatism, generates a distorted image at near and far. Nowadays, glasses or contact lenses are by no means the only possibilities available to correct defective vision. Femtolasic technology provides us with a gentle and safe way to change the refractive power of the cornea so that vision without glasses is possible again for farsighted, short-sighted, or astigmatic patients. The main group of patients who are possible candidates for a femtolasic are those aged between 18 and over 40. I can't say whether a femtolasic is possible for you until I've performed a detailed examination. The retina is examined visual performance, diopters, intraocular pressure, pupil diameter, and corneal thickness are all determined, and an exact measurement is made of the corneal surface. To ensure that the values obtained in the examination are correct, wearers of soft contact lenses must stop wearing them at least one week, and of hard contact lenses three weeks before the procedure. Patients with cataracts and glaucoma or general medical conditions like diabetes or rheumatic diseases, or if they are pregnant, are excluded from laser refractive surgery from the outset. I'm pleased to inform you that you are suitable for the femtolasic method. This means a great chance for you to do without glasses in the future. So see you soon if you like. I have opted for the fetmolasic method. I'm already looking forward to a new life without glasses. LASIK has been performed millions of times with great success, and all on an outpatient basis. Anesthetic eye drops ensure pain-free treatment on a comfortable examination table. Initially, a type of map is generated with the aid of the laser, and many individual points measured in order to exactly calculate the refractive power of the eye. In FEMTO LASIK, the FEMTO second laser replaces the mechanical scalpel in order to create a flap on the uppermost layer of the cornea. Ultra-short laser pulses, each even shorter than a trillionth of a second, generate microscopically small gas bubbles that make their way between the tissue molecules of the cornea and separate them smoothly from each other. Thousands of such interfaces, stringed together in the form of a circle, result in a precise separated layer. The flap a tenth of a millimeter thin, is folded back. This is when the modeling excimer laser beam is used. With the aid of computer control, only a few ten thousandths of a millimeter of tissue are removed point by point in a matter of seconds, all in a painless, non-contact, and gentle procedure, and only as much as required to achieve the optimal visual outcome for the patient. 
The eye tracking system registers even the smallest unintentional movement of the eyes. Over 1,000 times a second, it checks the viewing position of the eye and directs the laser beam to the right position. At the end of the Femto Lasik procedure, the mini flap is then closed again, just like the cover of a book. It seals the site of the surgery like the natural closure of a wound. Everything okay? Any pain? Good. Open your eyes again slowly, please. Can you see everything yet? Have a look at the clock. What do you see? 20 to 5. Great. Things may still be a little bit blurred at first. Everything will seem relatively hazy for a while, but by tomorrow morning, at the latest, you will see almost clearly again. The quality of your vision will fluctuate slightly for the next week or so, but then it will become stable and you can enjoy your new quality of life. I'm glad I decided to have the LASIK procedure. It was definitely worth it. I can forget about my glasses at long last. 